So Hillary Clinton maintains she's going to be the Democrat uh, Party nominee, but the delicate rich Californian, uh, well, may have something else to say about this. You got to see that the polls have now shown her and Bernie Sanders in a statistical tie. It's a dead heat with her at 46 and Sanders at 44 uh, percent. Clinton decided uh, maybe I should push a little harder. She bought some TV time in California. So obviously she's worried. The question now is what are her chances and what happens if she does not win California? Jillian Melcher, Ashley Spillane, and, and Christian Bedford are with me. Ashley, let me, let me start with you. Um, Hillary Clinton, even if she does win California, it won't be by that amazing double-digit lead that she had once before. How wounded of a candidate is she now? I mean, at the end of the day, the contested primary is actually a really good thing for the country, for California. But is it a good uh, thing have... for Hillary Clinton? <laughs> well, I think it's a, it's a good thing that there are going, ultimately, I think, yes. I mean, it's a good thing that there are so many new voters being brought into the process, that the Democratic primary is inspiring so many people to come out. California has registered an estimated 1.5 to 2 million new voters uh, in this year in the lead up to the primary election. It's, it's, a, it's a great thing and a great opportunity to continue to put the message out there um, that young people's issues matter. Right. right. Uh, listen, I, I agree that the entire voting, the entire primary process has been, has been an amazing reawakening for Americans. Mm -hmm. Americans are engaged, but I disagree, Jillian, with the notion that somehow this has been helping Hillary. The longer Bernie Sanders has lingered in this thing, the worse her poll numbers are against him and against Donald Trump. You're absolutely right. She is a fundamentally undesirable candidate, and I think the Democratic Party has shown again and again that if it has another alternative, they'll really consider it before they consider Hillary. Now, what I think is interesting about the polling coming out of California is that it looks at likely voters. But with California, there's a question about whether independent voters can vote. And that's a big issue because some people signed up for the American Independent Party, which could potentially disqualify them. If you do that, there's a bit more of a gap. But I think bottom line is Bernie's giving her a run for her money, right. and she was not prepared for it. By the way, you know, a lot of people were excited about this potential Bernie Sanders, Donald Trump uh, debate. Uh, well, we can report tonight that that uh, much anticipated debate will not happen. Uh, about an hour after the Sanders campaign had put out a press release actually saying that they had agreed to it. Donald Trump's campaign came back out with a statement. We'll read it for you now. It says, quote, as much as I want to debate Bernie Sanders, and it would be an easy payday, I will wait to debate the first place finisher in the Democratic Party, probably crooked Hillary Clinton or whoever it may be. That's uh, Donald Trump. Christopher, I got to tell you, I was salivating at the <laughs> prospects, and I think it would have been an amazing deal for, uh, for, for both Donald Trump and, and Bernie Sanders. I think Hillary dodged the bullet with this one. It would have been an absolute prize fight. It would have been, they, they really could have sold that pay-per-view. I think and everybody, even if it wasn't my job to tune in, I definitely would have popped the popcorn. But Bernie Sanders has the most to gain from this. As the poll showed, he's two points behind uh, Hillary Clinton. And as a Fox News poll showed in California last month, he was two points behind Hillary Clinton. She's in trouble, and she's just begging to hold on to these superdelegates, who, by the way, can switch. She had the superdelegates against Barack Obama, and they ended up going to Obama. So Bernie Sanders needs to get anything, any ground, if he could have a knockout punch against Donald Trump, which is unlikely, on the debate stage, that would really give him a boost. Uh, Donald Trump's got less to gain right now. He should allow the civil, uh, he's got no reason to jump into the middle of the civil war other than just a snipe from the side, at right. least politically speaking. All right, guys, uh, thanks, thanks a lot.